Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, so I want to come on here and talk about the whole Nikki tutorial situation. A lot of you guys wanted me to do a video yesterday. If you guys do not know, what's going down is that Nikki Tutorials is a huge beauty guru on the platform. She's gotten it from the mud, okay? She's been making YouTube tutorials since she was about 14 years old, since she was a teenager. And she's one of the biggest beauty gurus on the platform. She has millions of subscribers. People watch her makeup tutorials. A lot of makeup brands really rock with Nikki Tutorials. So what happened is that yesterday, today she basically posted a video called her coming out and so we also posted this on Instagram and I'm not gonna lie when I first watched the video I thought Nikki was gonna come out and say that she was a lesbian and you know all this stuff but that's not what she said in her video she decided to come out and let the world know that she is a trans woman that she was born a little boy and then she transitioned during her teenage years into a female and so a lot of people were shocked by this myself included I've never met her in real life, but people tell me that she's really tall, like six foot two. So some people were saying that that was a dead giveaway because of her height and her body structure. I've never met her. I've only seen her on YouTube from like the shoulders up. And to me, she looks very, very feminine. So I had assumed she was a woman. So she came out and she was talking about this. And I mean, she got praised all over social media. I saw a lot more positivity towards Nikki than any negativity. But you guys know me, I'm about, you know, trying to get to the bottom of stuff. One thing that Nikki did say in her coming out is that she was being blackmailed. So my comment on Instagram was this. I was like, I wonder who's trying to blackmail her. That was my main concern. You know, I'm glad that she felt the need to be honest and tell her story. But what bothered me is that somebody felt the need to basically force her, her to tell her story. And that to me, is not okay whatsoever so i just been sitting back you know what i'm saying sipping slow gathering receipts and now i've come to the conclusion of who that person was who decided to low-key blackmail nikki tutorials but first and foremost i want you guys to go ahead and watch a snippet of this story go ahead and check this out and i'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary truly free when i was younger i was born in the wrong body which means that i am transgender. Nikki Tutorials comes out as transgender. Sharing this with you today is, first of all, oh my God, this feels so liberating. You have no idea. The 25-year-old makeup artist revealed the news in a video called I'm Coming Out that she uploaded to her YouTube channel, which boasts over 12 million subscribers. So today I am taking back my own power. But Nikki admits her decision to come out wasn't on her terms. It is vile and it is gross. And I know you are watching this. This one's for you. I hope you can sit nice on it. She says she didn't plan on releasing the private information to the public just yet, but she was inevitably forced to. I have been blackmailed by people that wanted to leak my story to the press. Nikki also got candid about her relationship with her fiance, Dylan, who popped the question in Italy back in August, 2019. Now, Dylan is a very, very special guy, and um, I've never met anyone like Dylan. He is truly the most kind-hearted, man in my life ever. Revealing he recently found out the truth. Dylan and I, we clicked and he didn't know. He knows now, Dylan knows um, about my past, but I wish I told him sooner. Everything felt so magical, so good, that I was afraid to lose him if I would tell my full story. Um, and at the point where I told him my full story, of course, he was shocked, but that is a private matter that we're dealing with and that I'm so proud of that we're able to deal with. Over the years, Nikki's channel has largely revolved around the power of makeup, but she told her fans it was time to explore the power of me. And in being open with her subscribers, Nikki hopes to inspire others to do the same. This world needs us. The video has fans and fellow beauty vloggers praising her for her bravery and honesty. Desi Perkins tweeted, I'm so proud of you. While fellow trans beauty Nikita Dragon tweeted in part, I am so proud of you. I know how hard it is to see you out and living your truth has brought me to tears. 
You don't know how many people you're inspiring and helping by sharing your story. I am one of them. After all these years, I'm sharing it with you now, but nothing changes because at the end of the day, on my channel, my number one passion is the power of makeup. All right, so you guys just saw what Nikki had to say. So once that came out, there was a lot of speculations. People accused her old class members of possibly trying to out her out um, because she said that her class knew that she was a boy who was transitioning into a girl. Other people blame Jeffree Star because we know Jeffree Star can be catty. And he's been known to, you know what I'm saying, blast people, you know, and drop receipts and, you know, blast makeup palettes that weren't supposed to be out yet. He's been known to do some shady stuff in the beauty community. So a lot of people threw his name out there as well. But other people started side-eyeing the sister of the owner of Too Faced Cosmetics. His name is Gerard Blandino. And basically his sister, who is just a loose cannon, she goes by the name Makeup Prince. Uh, Danny California and she changed her bio to read this she says transgender huh that's not the only thing she's been lying about and so a lot of folks were really pissed off about that now let me go ahead and tell y'all the backstory Nikki Tutorials and Too Faced they've had kind of like a you know kind of like a long-standing beef and who's involved in that beef Who's somewhere in the mix of that beef? None other than Jeffree Star. So what happened is that when Nikki was first coming up, you know, she's a, you know, she was just a wee lass. And um, basically, she decided to do a collaboration with Too Faced Cosmetics. And that collaboration, they ended up paying her $50,000 for the collaboration, only for them to turn around and make $10 million. They basically played this girl. They didn't give her any residuals. They didn't give her anything on the back end. They gave her a flat fee because she didn't know any better. You know, $50,000 is a lot of money, but in the grand scheme of things, compared to what Too Faced made, they definitely gypped her. They should have gave her minimum two million dollars off of the 10 million that they made so i'm going to go ahead and play you guys this clip from shane dawson's documentary where jeffree star spoke about this to shane dawson and jeffree star had been dropping hints for years that two-faced was you know literally their name two-faced in the way that they did nikki tutorials but he held back on blasting them until the documentary so y'all go ahead and check this out oh the packaging's great now listen, I will still commend you if you have a sickening design. So the owner of Too Faced and I are not friends. He called, um, him and his sister called my friend Clown Makeup. <laughs> but Whoa. somehow, I'm so, I know, and I used to look up to them and like buy their makeup in high school and now I'm the competitor. Whoa. It's crazy. Their formula has went downhill over the years since they've been bought. And, um, and yeah, the beauty community is crazy. <laughs> So let's talk about that. I'll put this away. <laughs> I've seen YouTubers and other influencers take dirt because they didn't know and they were, you know, like imagine you're like, here's here's an example and this is on record, so this isn't me spilling the tea or anything. Nikki Tutorial was collab with Too Faced. I hate that we're mentioning them again. It's a whole set. Yes, in collaboration with Too Faced. Um, but she accepted a deal. Let's start with what I'm most excited for, my palette. Um, where they gave her a flat fee of 50000 and that was it. She made no money from the palettes. Um, the brand went on to sell over $10 million of product, um, and probably more than that, and she got just a little flat fee and some dirt, no residuals, nothing, and she didn't know. We've worked so hard on this. I've worked so hard on this. The entire Too Faced team worked so hard on this. When she told me, I was so horrified. Who would have thought? I know. You'd be doing a collab with I such know. a prestigious, huge brand. I'm like. So, first off, you get this little booklet of Nikki Tutorial. She's so pretty. And you get a bunch of different looks that she created with this palette. So surreal. Tonight, we're going to celebrate. And when I kind of let that secret out, uh, it turned really ugly online. So, of course, Too Faced hates me. But, um. Well, they should. But because you exposed the fucking grossest thing I've ever heard in my life. Exactly. And it just concludes the row of my dreams. So, you know. What I, is $50,000, $10 million, $50,000 percentage wise? I mean, that's point. <laughs> I, listen, <laughs> it's a I mean, joke. 0.005%. Oh? That's what she got. My God. Allegedly. 
All right, so you guys just saw that snippet. So then um, a few weeks later, Nikki finally decided to talk about it. And she basically spoke on the situation and admitted that, yes, it was true, that they took advantage of her. She was young when she signed the contract. You know, and there's really nothing she can do. What's done is done. But what really hurt her is the fact that they gave her a wonderful palette that worked really well, that wasn't, you know, patchy and all this other stuff. But the palettes that they gave to the consumers had all all types of problems and then people gave Nikki tutorials so many horrible reviews on the collaboration that it you know basically caused her to have to rebuild the trust in the YouTube community again so that was the part that really hurt her not so much that they played her for the money but the fact that they played her customers by giving them cheap products which were not the products that she okayed and the products that she was sent personally so this was like all a big hoopla a few months ago so now fast forward to today everything has been basically been confirmed that it was Jared Blandino's sister who definitely had something to do with this okay and if you guys don't know Too Faced has been bought by Estee Lauder and so basically what I'm hearing this is the tea that's being spilt in my DM okay shout out to you girl um Basically, Estee Lauder tapped Too Faced's owner, Jared Blandino, on the shoulder and said, you know what, um, we're not having this transphobia. We're not going to have our brand, you know what I'm saying, that's been established for years and years before you before you were twinkling your daddy's sack. We're not going to have your sister fuck up our brand. So what you need to do is go ahead and publicly fire her today. So that is what Estee Lauder told Jared Blandino. And guess what? Today he had time, cuz. Today I got time, cuz. Today I got time, cuz. Hey. You lucky on that day I was acting cool, cuz. Nigga, what's up? How gangster are you, cuz? I don't fuck with you, cuz. You disrespecting me. I don't fuck with you, cuz. You disrespecting me. I go hard, cuz. So he took to social media, and this is what he said. So Too Faced Cosmetics tweeted this. A message from our founder, Gerald Blandino. He says, I would like to make sure that it's understood that although I love my sister very much, the things that she says or does have absolutely nothing to do with me and do not in any way reflect me, my opinions, thoughts, or feelings, nor speak for me or two-faced in any way, shape, or form. I've always stood for love, equality, and kindness in my life and everything I do. I'm so sorry for the hurt that she has caused. Let it be known that I am truly shocked and disgusted to my core at her recent actions. I do not tolerate this behavior. She's no longer an employee of Too Faced. I would like to say how proud I am of Nikki Tutorials and how inspired I am for her strength and sharing her beautiful truth with the world. I'm sending her my love. So that is what was stated on their um, Instagram page. Some people were happy with the apology. Other people were like, oh, he's full of shit. He's just trying to save his brand he's only firing her because of Estee Lauder so once again that caused more uproar okay so the beauty community honey is just full of just all types of just surprising tidbits you never know where we're gonna go and 2020 has just started so I see more you know craziness coming down the pipeline but as far as Nikki tutorials kudos to her for being brave and telling her truth you know what I'm saying but it's sad that somebody felt the need to blackmail her and basically push her to tell her truth you know I don't feel like nothing has changed it's not like I necessarily watch her videos all the time I might watch them you know randomly but I have watched her a few times she seems like a really sweet lady um, and you know she's doing her thing so kudos to her for living in her truth and not allowing somebody to blackmail her and hold something over her head you know what I'm saying when you live in your truth, can't nobody shame you about shit that you do as long as you live in your truth and you walk in it. So I'm glad that she gave them a middle finger to the sky and told their asses to keep kicking rocks with their blackmail attempts and she put the truth out there. And I think people love her even more for that. Nobody, I don't see anybody unsubscribing in droves. I didn't see anybody really attacking her. I think I would say 99.9% .9 of the comments um, on social media towards Nikki Tutorials were positive. It was a a lot of love shown towards her now it has sparked another conversation about should young children be transitioning because Nikki started transitioning I think she was saying like around six years old she's always felt like a girl and that's when they started getting her on hormone treatments and by the time she was 13 she was already like six foot tall so they had to give her you know more treatments to stop her from growing any taller so she really transitioned young and she you know chopped off the package so she doesn't even have anything down there you know that's 
as far as a male anatomy. So she went through the whole shebang. Okay, she's not pulling a damn Caitlyn slash Bruce Jenner. She went through the whole shebang. So kudos to her for living in her truth. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know what you guys think about this entire situation and how do you feel about um, Jared Blandino's sister basically being outed as the person who blackmailed Nikki Tutorials only for Estee Lauder to basically tell Gerald Blandino that he needs to get off his ass and fire his sister. How do you guys feel about his statement? How do you guys feel about everything that went on? How do you feel about everything that's happened to Nikki Tutorials thus far? As far as Too Faced basically, you know, paying her 50000 for a collab that they made $10 million on. And then a few months later for them to basically low-key clown her for coming out about her transition. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. And last but not least, Make sure you hit that notification bell so we can be down with the notification squad. So go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. All right. Deuces.